I will have stuff on the engine. Um, I've, I've just gotten the head off. I rebuilt the head. But I haven't gone much further than that. Um, I think where we're going to end up being is that once I disassemble this. And um, this is going to be another build. But I'm thinking I, I, I'm, what I'm looking at right now. I can see that this rod got overheated. Right? You, you can see the discoloration in the rod. This rod got overheated right here. And I'm thinking uh, this is spinning a bearing inside here right now. And I think um, when we looked at the the Vano's valve, you can see all the copper that's on there. So I think what we have is we have a spin bearing, a spun bearing. And that's where the knocking that we were hearing from, the knocking of the rod on the crankshaft. So that's pretty much it. Uh, it spun the bearing and, um, and I'm not... I'm not 100% sure the smoking gun. Um, I'm speculating two things, right? Well, a couple things. The valve cover, the vacuum system in the valve cover got compromised and allowed air, allowed oil into the vacuum system of the valve cover. So you have oil going into a compartment that should have vacuum. So then that's pushing oil to all the vacuum ports I think the only one is that you have a you have that vacuum that goes to the turbo intercooler on the intake side and then to the charge valve that actuate the wastegate. So this engine was rebuilt 40,000 miles ago. Standard rebuild, nothing fancy. Um, I didn't use ACL bearings, I used the King bearings. But I did not change my oil. I changed my oil according to the interval on what the dash indicator is, which came out to be twelve to 15,000 interval. I think that's wrong, I think that's too long. I found a lot of dirtiness and contaminants and carbon buildup and just too much contaminants that could compromise the operation of the engine so i think perhaps the uh, dirty oil contaminated and got between the bearing and then perhaps the 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 bearing itself um given the clearances maybe the maybe you need to do the acl i don't know we'll see so anyway this is going to be a rebuild now we have a freshly rebuilt engine if you guys have been tracking my bills uh, this is the engine one two two seven seven zero one. So this one just got finished rebuilding. Okay, this one is going to be we're going to transfer everything from this engine onto here, and this engine is going into the car. Okay, so um, first thing we're going to do we're going to get the wiring harness over, move the alternator over, and then start attaching. Um, or pipe in or Vano's valve uh, getting all these um, attached engine mounts and so forth all right so um, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to document or film everything but I'll periodically I'll give you guys an update on where we're at 